Now, retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besije has warned that General Katumba Wamala will be assassinated if the public want him to run for president in the 2026 elections. That's a big story. You really want to know more about it. Well, in other news, Mukono Municipality Member of Parliament Betty Namboze has welcomed General Mohozi Kanerugaba for president in the 2026 elections. That and much more coming up right now on the Buzz UG. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before we go to the details of those two big stories, uh, let me first give you an update about what's happening in the entertainment industry. Now, Prima Kadash and Mr. Henry of Galaxy FM have separated according to the latest news in circulation. It's reported that Mr. Henry dumped Prima and this comes almost after two years of dating. Now, of course, you must be asking yourself what is the problem? What really happened between these two people? Now, according to the credible sources, it said that Mr. Henry has been under pressure from relatives, uh, friends, critics, and also social media in-laws, all telling him to dump Prima Kadash because she's too old for him and she's bad-mannered. You guys, you remember in an interview Prima had with Case of NBS some time back, she was questioned if she used to beat Justedi, and she said, if you act foolish, I slap you. Wewesiru was angusabula. You remember that statement? She said it live on TV. So for now, we cannot tell if she has been beating Mr. Henry or something else led to their separation. But yeah, that is the latest news in circulation. Uh, Mr. Henry and uh, Prima Kadash are no more. They have separated, though it has not really been confirmed yet. But of course, as long as you're right here on the Buzz UG, I'll keep you posted. Well, I also remember some time back, social media in-laws were saying that it will end in tears. I don't know how they got to know about that. But also, I want to know, why do you like prophesying doom for other people? Anyway, in other news... Uh, NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe is contemplating on leaving the country to settle in another country. Now, Farida Nakazwe says she's been studying Uganda's economic growth and the rate of corruption, but things seem to be getting from bad to worse. Uh, therefore, the only solution left to people like her is to leave Uganda and settle in another country. She says relocating is painful, but she got no option. After all, we are all looking for a better life. Now, in her own words, she said, I have been attentively looking at Uganda's economy versus the rate of corruption. I'm worried things can only get worse. Relocating is painful, but could be the closest solution for people like me. Well, there you go. That is Farida Nakazwe from NTV Uganda. However, right now, we haven't really confirmed which country she's planning to settle in, but that is the latest news in circulation. Farida Nakazwe contemplating on leaving Uganda to settle in another country. I'll keep you posted on that story. Well, in other news, a horrible Betty Namboze from Mukono Municipality has finally welcomed President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kainerugaba, for the position of president in the 2026 elections. In a video circulating on social media, horrible Betty Namboze is heard warmly welcoming him to the field of politics, but she assured him this is not going to be an easy game for him, and as NUP, they are eagerly waiting for him. <laughs> I'm telling you, the 2026 elections gonna be so interesting. I pray that God grant us opportunity to witness what's gonna happen in that election. Well, lastly, in other news, Last week, General Katumba Wamala dismissed a fake invitation card that was making rounds on social media calling all Ugandans to attend his birthday party just like President Museveni's son Mohozi Kainerugaba did it at Lugogo Cricket Oval. 
Now, former presidential candidate, retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besije, has warned the public from dragging former UPDF commander and the current Minister of Works and Transport, that is General Katumba Wamala, into succession battles. Now, while speaking to his supporters in Mengo, uh, Dr. Kiza Besije insisted that those who had started circulating invitation cards on social media inviting people to celebrate General Katumba Wamala's birthday want him dead. Now, in his own words, he said, uh, those people wanted the man to be killed and he understood it very well. That is why he ran very fast to disown the celebrations. Well, Dr. Kiza Besije also revealed that there are many military officers in UPDF who are under captivity after President Museveni intentionally refused to retire them because he fears they may later have political ambitions. Now, Besije talked about comrades like General David Sejusa, Edward Kale Kaihura, that is the former IGP, and also General Katumba Wamala. He says all oh, these guys are still struggling to be freed from the army. Well, it should be remembered that last year, General Katumba Wamala survived gunmen who attacked him along Kisota Road in Kampala, killing his daughter Brenda Nantongo Katumba and his driver Sergeant Haruna Kayondo. Well, that's the latest news I have on the Buzz UG. I do not know what you make of these stories, but of course, in case you have any comment, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. You got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.